All right, in this video, we're gonna demonstrate the King Vision Laryngoscope. So the tools that you need for this, uh, you need your King Vision camera unit, you'll need your King Vision blade. Um, I use the blades that have the track already in it, that way I don't have to use a stylet. Um, they do make blades that don't have the track, but I find them a lot harder to use, so I prefer the blades with the track. Uh, you'll need your uh, lubricant and your ET tube with your uh, 10cc syringe. So. One thing I want to say up front is when you're putting the King Vision together, make sure that you put the unit together, pop the blade in the camera before you turn it on. Um, sometimes if you turn the camera unit on before putting the blade in, you'll get a white screen and it won't work. Um, so I find it best if you just make sure you're doing it in order. Obviously you have someone um, bagging your patient right now with hopefully a, a, some kind of airway adjunct. your lubricant a lot of times when I'm using the King Vision I just go ahead and put it right in the track but you can just put it on the side of the tube. You're going to go ahead and put your patient in the sniffing position and you're going to put the laryngoscope in just like you would a curved blade and you're going to want to have it sit right behind the epiglottis in the vollecula just like you would your MAC blade. From here, you can just slip your tube down the track and you can see we have a really nice view. The epiglottis is lifted out of the way. I have my vocal cords on each side and then a nice view of my glottic opening. And while I'm advancing my tube, I wanna make sure it's passing through that glottic opening and I'm getting the balloon fully through the vocal cords. From here, I can go ahead and back my tube out, or my laryngoscope out and go ahead and inflate my tube. From here, we would go ahead and bag our patient, but I just wanted to show you that nice view of the King Vision. Now, I do want to show you a common mistake I see and how to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tube out. The biggest mistake I see people using the King Vision is that they try to advance the scope too far, and they'll actually put it over the epiglottis. So if you look here in the camera view, I've inserted this in where it should be sitting behind that epiglottis. I've now put it over the epiglottis. And this can cause some problems trying to get your tube in. You can see it's going to slip past um, that glottic opening down the esophagus. So this is a really common problem I see. I know a lot of people that don't like using the King Vision because they have this issue. And really it's that they've put those, the blade in too far and they've put it over the epiglottis when it should be sitting in that vollecula. There is a really quick fix that you can do um, if you do get in this position without having to reset. You can use your left hand and turn the scope to the left. And this will also allow the tube to pass through the glottic opening. So that is a quick fix if you do get in that situation. Um, but that is the most common problem that I do see with people using the King Vision is just inserting that blade too far.